Punkak Triquaro, until 1963 Wilhelmina Peak, is a 4,730 or 4,750 meters, 15,584 feet, high mountain in the Papua province of Indonesia on New Guinea. It lies in the eastern part of the Sudarman, Nassau, range of the Mok Mountains. Behind Punkak Jaya, Carson's Pyramid, at 4,884 meters, 16,024 feet, it is either the second or third highest mountain on the island of New Guinea and the Australasian continent. As such it appears on some seven-second summits lists, although SRTM data support that Punkak Madala, Juliana Peak, in the Jaya Ejaya, Orange, range is higher with 4,760 meters. 15,617 feet. The navigable Nord River made the mountain more accessible than the other snow-covered peaks of Dutch New Guinea and the Dutch organized a series of scientific expeditions in the early 20th century to reach the equatorial eternal snow and climb the mountain. The leader of the first two expeditions was the diplomat and amateur biologist H. A. Lawrence. Each expedition was accompanied by soldiers, porters and dykes, who were employed for their expertise with boat journeys. In July 1907, the first expedition established Camp Alkmaar near where the Nord River, since 1910 known as the Lawrence River, became unnavigable, 4 degrees 40 s 138 degrees 42 e but was unsuccessful in penetrating to the highest mountain range. The second South New Guinea expedition also used Camp Alkmaar, from where it left on October 9, 1909. A group of nine, including Lawrence and Jan Willem Van Nees, were the first to reach the eternal snow of New Guinea at a height of 4,460 meters, 14,633 feet on November 8, 1909. From the ridge they observed a large lake to the north, which Lawrence named Lake Habima, 4 degrees 08 s 138 degrees 40 e, after a member of the expedition. No attempt was made to reach the Wilhelmina summit. The return trip was severe, with a loss of four expedition members. The explorers finally returned to Camp Alkmaar in mid-December. The summit was first reached in 1913 during the Third South New Guinea Expedition, which lasted from September 1912 to April 1913 and followed the same route. It was led by Alphonse France and Herdershe, an officer of the Royal Dutch East Indies Ledger, Koninklijk Nederlands Indus Ledger and its aim was to research the soils, flora and fauna of the region that lay above 2,300 meters. Other expedition members were the zoologist Gerard Martinus Versteeg, the botanist August Adrian Pohl, the geologist Paul Francois Hubert, and J. B. Sitnila, an Indonesian GP. Herder she also took over the role of ethnographer, including soldiers, porters and dykes. The baggage train had 241 members. They were divided up into several groups in order to carry out the different tasks in a time-effective way. Herder she, who worked and Versteeg formed the summit team, which reached the Wilhelmnit upon February 21, 1913. The 1920-1922 Central New Guinea expedition had as goal to reach the mountain from the north coast over a route partially explored in a 1914 military expedition. On February 7, 1920 the first exploration, under leadership of A.J.A. Van Overeem started at the mouth of the Mamberamo and followed the Eitenberg River. In October, they had climbed across the Dorman MTNS and reached the upper Sward Valley, Natalie Valley. Here they made first contact with the Lani people, aka the Western Dani people, an agricultural people with whom they stayed for six weeks. Running out of time and food provisions, 
This expedition returned without climbing Wilhelmina. A follow-up expedition starting in June 1921 and led by J. H. G. Kramer, who was surveyor the previous year, retraced the route, and via the upper Balim Valley and Lake Habima reached the summit on December 4, 1921. Among the ascendants was Paul Hubert, who had been on the top in 1913 and noticed that the ice cap had retreated considerably since eight years before. Mm.